Hello and welcome to this edition of Culture Mosaic, a weekly journal that brings you the latest updates on the Vietnamese cultural and entertainment scenes. In this week's episode, let's join us in a trip to a mountainous district of Quảng Nam province to explore cultural values of the Ketu people's ceremonial dance, also known as Dance for the Gods. Moving on to our On the Mic segment, we'll talk to a young Vietnamese sweets actor who had an excellent performance in the movie Em Va Ching or You and Ching with the appearance of a special host, Mika Chu. Samuel An will have a lot of interesting stories to share. Last but not least, lately there have been many foreign YouTubers who went viral because of their videos on Vietnamese tourism, culture and people. So let's explore Vietnam through the views of these online ambassadors of Vietnamese tourism sector. So stay with us and enjoy what uh, are coming your way in just a minute. Discover Ketu people's culture through ceremonial dance. Young Vietnamese sweets actor Samuel An, a rising star of the Vietnamese film industry. And foreign YouTubers feature Vietnamese culture, cuisine and tourism. Now, let's begin with some local news. Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi and Da Nang City have been included in the list of top 10 cities in Southeast Asia. This is under the Asia Best Awards 2022, voted by readers of the US-based Travel Plus Leisure magazine. In particular, Da Nang City was ranked third, while Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City were in the fifth and eighth places, respectively. Meanwhile, Phu Quoc Island and Côn Đảo Island were ranked fourth and tenth in the best islands in Southeast Asia category. The Asia's Best Awards 2022 feature a wide range of categories from destinations, hotels, media, to catering services. Now, the Nha Trang Paragliding Festival 2022 was held for the first time in Nha Trang City, Khánh Hòa Province. About 100 pilots from paragliding federations and clubs across the country have registered to perform and compete at this year's festival. Visitors can also try flying a motorized paraglider. The festival will help develop Nha Trang into a destination for domestic and foreign paragliding lovers and is expected to become an annual international event that will attract tourists to the festival. Khánh Hòa also aims to host a national-level paragliding championship tournaments in the near future. Organizers of the event expect that from 2023 onwards, the Nha Trang Paragliding Festival will be upgraded to an international-level festival and attract foreign pilots to perform and compete. A number of artists have recently made their comebacks with new music products which have been warmly welcomed by audiences. This shows positive signs of Vietnam's music industry and is expected to open up more new products from now until the year end. One notable song is Run From This World, a collaboration between Dalap and female singer Vương Ly. It marked the comeback of Dalap after a year, while the band cherished the project in two years. The song has a gentle and joyful melody, cheering up listeners with the message of taking a break after a hard day. Hương Mùa Hè, or The Scent of Summer, a music series with the participation of four singers, namely Suni Hạ Linh, Hoàng Dũng, Orange and Grey D, was officially on air. During the series, the four singers act as four people who remember beautiful summers during their teenage years. All songs in this series are performed live with a music band, introducing old songs with new arrangements to music lovers. In addition, the stand of summer also offers eye-catching landscapes in the coastal city of Phan Thiet with sunny weather, white sandy beaches, flowers, trees and a romantic house where the artists play the music. Tung Tung 
Zaza, also known as Dance for the Gods, is a traditional group dance for both men and women of the Ketu ethnic group. They often perform the dance in their important traditional festivals as a way to express their gratitude to heaven and earth and their ancestors. Through the ups and downs of history, the wild dance originated in the midst of the majestic Chung Sun mountain range has been well preserved by the Ketu people, becoming a unique feature of their cultural identity. So in this week's edition of Culture and Lifestyle, let's join us in a trip to Taizang, a mountainous district of Guangnam province, to explore cultural values of the dance. người cơ tu là ai cũng đều phải biết điệu múa này và khi để có một tiết mục như vậy thì bọn em mất khoảng một tuần để có thể tập trung với nhau á. Dạ. Đối với những người mà lớp trước gọi là những người mà uh, tiền bối của mình á, họ là họ thấm trong máu rồi. Chỉ cần là có điệu nhạc, điệu nhạc tân tung nhã nhã, điệu cồng, điệu chiêng trống á là họ con người tự thích nhún này, nhún nhảy đưa tay lên múa giá giá và tấn tung. Muốn hứng khởi lên, hứng hực lên là có một uh, gia làng họ hú theo, bắt đầu tất cả trai tráng cùng hú theo và nhảy theo cái điệu ấy. Mimicking wildlife sounds, they howl as a way to express their satisfaction with a wild, free and peaceful life in the heart of the vast forests. Men and women in the dance troupe must follow certain principles, such as dancing in a counter-clockwise circle. In addition, women always go first, followed by men. When it comes to the circle dance, women dance in the inner circle, and men dance in the outer circle. This principle demonstrates that the Gertu men always give priority to the Gertu women. dance is performed during community activities and traditional festivals of the Gatu people, as they consider the dance a bridge connecting them with heaven and earth, as well as with the gods and their ancestors. Rồi, 
không phân biệt gia đình nào, không phân biệt trai gái, không phân biệt trẻ nhỏ, cứ, cứ vào càng nhiều càng tốt, vào cái đám đông mà nhảy bố thì tôi có giá đó, cho nên cái đó cũng là một cái cái mà cái, cái tình nghĩa của là người nghèo người giàu họ họ đồng với nhau làm cái niềm vui chung. The rhythmic coordination of both the Kertu men and women in the dance demonstrates a symbolic scene in which strong men hold weapons to defend their motherland and the forest, while a troop of women make offerings to the god to pray for favorable weather, peace and prosperity in their life. Representing the Kertu people's culture with its fruit associated with the mother forest, the Tung Tung Ya Ya dance has inspired many artists. Tôi có lên ca tô và cũng cùng nhảy với cộng đồng thì tôi thấy có một cái hay là là cái tinh thần và cái ánh mắt và cái cổng xúc của người dân tộc ca tô của đồng bào á, người ta rất là thần thái, rất là vui vẻ. Giống như là luôn luôn mời chào, luôn luôn kêu gọi và luôn luôn có sự đoàn kết của cộng đồng. Nó thật sự nó cái ổng xúc mà mình vứt bỏ hết tất cả một cái luôn, mình quay về lại chính mình luôn. Thì tôi thấy là cái cái điệu múa dân trời là một cái nát văn hóa mà trong cái tác phẩm điều khác của tôi luôn luôn có những cái người đàn ông thì chiên, người phụ nữ thì nhảy thì cái đó là sự đoàn kết trong một cái cộng đồng lòn xã rất là rất là đậm chất văn hóa. Recognized as a national intangible cultural heritage, the Tung Tung Ya Ya Dant is a pride of the Gudu ethnic group and has been well preserved by generations of villagers. The dance not only demonstrate their deep love for their homeland, but also motivate them to overcome challenges and stay optimistic about the future. As Vietnam's entertainment industry has been thriving over the last decade, many young overseas Vietnamese talents have flocked home to look for opportunities. Being young, good-looking, and owning professional performance skills, they have also contributed to the diversity of the entertainment scene with their own artistic flair. So in this week's edition of On The Mic, we will have a chance to chat with the multi-talented Vietnamese Swedes actor Samuel An, who is expected to become a rising star within the Vietnamese film industry, especially after his excellent performance in the movie Em Va Ching, or You and Ching, with the appearance of a special host, Mika Chu, Samuel An will have a lot of interesting stories to share with us. Người sĩ cũng cần phải có lập trường chính trị. Người nghệ sĩ không nên đứng về phe nào. Hòa bình nằm nơi độc lập. Nhìn những mùa thu đi em nghe sao. The performance of Samuel An, a young Vietnamese Swiss actor, grabbed the attention of audiences with his role in the recent box office hit Em Va Chi. Portraying teacher Ngo Kha, a person who had a great influence on the life of late musician Chi Kung Sơn, Samuel An's performance proved that it was a role written for him. Em Va Ching isn't Samuel An's first role on the big screen. The young actor also worked with hitmaker director Victor Vu in the movie The Guardian in 2021. Through his acting and singing, he has proven himself to be a multi-talented young artist. Samuel An has a lot of potential for stardom in the Vietnamese film industry. Bonjour Samuel An. Bonjour Mika. How are you today? I'm good and you? Me as well. <laughs> are you ready for the questions? Very exciting though. Oh, fantastic. I'm actually very excited to interview an actor who has so many other talents. But let's start easy. I uh, know your newest project is Em Va Ching. Can you tell us a little bit more about your part in that movie and how did you come to shoot this movie? All right. I play a poet, a professor from Hue. So the scene is back in 1960. Uh, his name is Ngo Kha and uh, he's a good friend of the main character, Jin Kong Sung. Mm -hmm. So it's a movie about the music and the life of Jin Kong Sung. How did you work on this part? 
I think the first thing is um, to play a real character. Mm -hmm. And he's a character that is, for me, perfect on screen. He's uh, loved by everyone. He's very, very, very talented. And he's a big leader for, for the students back, back then. So, uh, pressure. <laughs> uh, but then we had to speak the dialect from Hue. I think it's the, it was the biggest challenge for me. Yeah. The pronunciation and the Hue accent? Yes. I, I freak out. I went on my Facebook and I, I put Hue and I contacted my friends from Facebook. I tried to have a, a coffee time with everyone once or twice and then I listened a lot to, uh, to the people from Hue trying to repeat the, the, the sound. And besides this, how did you work on your character? Because it's, like you said, it's in the 60s. It's, a lot of, it's about music, it's about the past. How did you prepare yourself emotionally for this role? It's a big picture, you know, mm -hmm. and you have to touch a little bit of everything. I talked to people that knew him. Uh, in, I interviewed them. I tried to understand like, the, the politics uh, involved at that time. And um, yeah, how they walk. A lot of pictures and uh, a lot of books and uh, documentaries about um, this, this period, yeah. Born and raised in Lausanne, Switzerland, Samuel Ann's life took a turning point the day he appeared on The Voice Vietnam in 2018. Being young, good-looking and owning professional performance skills, within a few years Samuel quickly gained recognition in the entertainment industry among his peers. Cool. Elle me prend dans ses bras, qu'elle me parle tout bas. Je vois la vie en rose. Elle me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours, et ça me fait quelque chose. Elle est en dans mon cœur une part de bonheur dont je connais la cause And I saw you released the live video of La Vie en Rose. Can you tell us a little bit more about this, please? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I just opened a, a, a YouTube channel. Congratulations on so, that. So, yeah, well. thank you. Yeah, La Vie en Rose, it's the first song that I sang in Vietnam. I took part on The Voice. And uh, it's the song that introduced me to Vietnam. I want to remind people who I am and where I come from. I have a big project in music uh, coming September. So it's um, a series of five music video. And I'm remaking five French songs. Mm. But I'm singing uh, French and Vietnamese to tell my stories. The first big project for me. That's great. Yeah. Samuel, I know you're very talented. You are a singer, you're an actor, you play piano. Uh, you play guitar. What is your main focus now that this project is behind? My main focus now is um, in music because um, after three years of not singing, performing, I'm back. I'm, I'm really back to 100%. I'm going to graduate from uh, my uh, drama school So after three years. So uh, starting from next month, I'm, I'm, I'm giving all out for, for music. I, mean, I was wondering, uh, many Vietnamese young actors, they choose to go abroad to start their career, but you chose to come back to your roots. Why, is, why this choice? The, the most important reason why I came back here is that I've always felt that I, I was a part of Vietnamese. After five years now, mm -hmm. I'm, I can say that I'm 50% Swiss, 50% Swiss, Vietnamese, and um, I'm so proud of it. I wanted to find to find my roots, so I'm glad I came back. Very nice to, to listen to it. Um, I would like to ask you a little bit more about the entertainment industry in Vietnam, because you came back to it four years ago. Which difficulties did you encounter coming from Switzerland, being a Viet Q and have to you know, readapt yourself to another way of working, living? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think we have 90% of the same problem, right? <laughs> uh, the language, the culture, mm -hmm. how people work here. The weather. <laughs> I mean, it's a completely different mindset. What would you say to Vietnamese talents that would like to start their career in Vietnam? What would you advise to them? So if you have the, the willing, if you're thinking about Vietnam, don't think anymore, just go. Just book your ticket, come here. It's not about succeeding or not. Mm -hmm. It's about, it's worth it. 
Well, I'm sure the audience is very excited about this upcoming project. Good luck with the singing and the acting with everything. It was really a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, Mika. Vietnam meets Dustin, Max McFarlane, CJ, Han Quốc Bros, and Cherry Hieri are all YouTube channels run by foreign YouTubers that have gone viral among Vietnamese netizens in recent years thanks to their attractive videos featuring Vietnamese culture, cuisine, and tourism. The creative YouTubers come from various countries like the US, Nigeria, and the Republic of Korea. They act as online tour guides, providing viewers with insights into the beauty of Vietnam. Their videos on Vietnamese tourism, culture, and people have garnered huge attention from people around the world. So let's find out more in our Connecting Cultures this week. Các bạn ơi, Phúc Mạp! Đây, các bạn đã quay trở lại kênh Phúc Mạp Vlog Và tối nay Phúc đến một chợ tên là Chợ Hố Thế Kỷ ở quận 10 này Cảm ơn nha uh, I feel like after living here for many years I learned a lot of things about the culture and the food and the language that I, I would have never learned being outside of Vietnam. You know, a Vietnamese person might see as normal, but outside of the country, that would be something new, some new information. So I wanted to make videos in order to show the world the great experiences that I've had here in Vietnam. All right, guys, so this is my transformation. I got my uh, I Trek hat and then my bandana. And Num Loom behind us, again, safety precautions. And speaking of which, you guys, for our, yep, no, um. Like, I, I like Vietnam a lot. And I just, yeah, I just, I just decided to stay. And my life has evolved in ways that I would never imagine it to. And the jewelry. The next step is absolutely critical. The banana is the most important ingredient for Jay Jui. You know, with YouTube and YouTubers in general, everybody has different interests. Like you can find a lot of YouTubers in Vietnam who are foreigners and uh, the topic of food, which, you know, I'm in that topic as well, is a very popular because, you know, Vietnamese food is liked amongst a lot of people internationally and it's quite unique. So there's a lot to show and people find that very interesting. Um, so I guess like what I would show, because every YouTuber is different and has different interests and different hobbies. So for my circumstances, I live maybe a bit more of like a, a simple life. Like here I'm at my house, chickens are going off, a bunch of fruit trees behind me. Um, and I enjoy that sort of thing. So my content is going to be based off things that I enjoy. So, you know, like cooking at my house. And then uh, kind of get me some rodé. So how, is this what your dad was drinking? Yeah, yeah, yes. he drinking every... Uh... Uh, first, I would like to point out the nature. Uh, the nature and the wildlife here is absolutely stunning. It's very beautiful. Uh, I took a trip to Haiyang and drove through the mountains in Haiyang, and I was just without words. There's nothing to say about how beautiful that was. Uh, I explored the caves in Phong Nha Bang. And that is home to not only the largest cave in the world, but also the fourth largest cave in the world and 300 caves altogether. So nature, 
by far one of the best countries I've been in in terms of nature. Not only Vietnam is destined and Phukma vlogs, a lot of foreign YouTubers such as Max McFarlane, CJ and Han Quoc Bros or Cherry Hieri have been familiar to Vietnamese netizens in recent years. Their videos are so creative and feature Vietnamese cuisine, culture and tourism. Each YouTuber content creator acts as an online tourist guide exploring the culture, cuisine and people of Vietnam. The YouTubers' experiences help to promote Vietnamese tourism to international tourists. It's mostly all positive feedback. Uh, it's nothing but great work. We want to see more. I can't wait to visit Vietnam. I've learned so much. Uh, looking at the likes versus the dislikes on my videos, uh, it's usually 99% of the people like uh, the videos. So whether it's something to do with the food or the nature or the culture, the customs, uh, I get a lot of positive feedback. Thank you. I would like to see more. Uh, usually, I'll say nine out of ten times if people are. If it's too many messages, I can't get back to everybody. But um, if it's something in particular, I can respond back to it. But yeah, I would say definitely a lot of people are interested in sometimes doing something a little different in Vietnam compared to the normal tourist destinations and doing just kind of the, the normal activities tourists do in Vietnam. So hopefully people leave my channel and they say, wow, I feel more informed, I feel happier, and I feel like I want to eat some Vietnamese food. And that is the end of our program. If you'd like to catch us online, download the VTV Go app from your Google Play or App Store or tune in our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash VTV4Go for more of our programs. And don't forget to join us next week for another episode of Culture Mosaic. Goodbye for now.